I am a researcher at the University of Bologna. I like to define me as a um, adopter of new technologies because I'm always trying to develop new protocols to test the efficacy of new biomaterials, of new technology, in order to give to general practitioner the scientific background and the scientific answer and the indication to the use of such technologies. But on the other side, the goal of my research is to provide long-term results because we need to give to our patient the stability of the result in long term. Nowadays, patient expectations are usually very high. We receive a lot of aesthetic requests from our patients. But what I think is really changed in the last decades is related to our perception of the patient request. We are more focused on patient reported outcome in relation to aesthetic, pain, and final results. So this is crucial for me is our look to the patient reported outcome. In my daily practice, endogen means periodontal regeneration. I cannot speak about periodontal regeneration without the use of amelogenins. Is uh, I think that in perio regeneration, in the treatment of infrabony defect, uh, the material that I have always to use when I'm treating my patient is endogen. In my daily practice, I use endogen in the treatment of deep infrabony defects independently from the number of bony wall. I apply endogen also when I have only uh, one bone wall defect because I can improve the stability of the gel with the adjunct use of a connective tissue graph or with a biomaterial that will improve the stability of the blood clot inside the infrabony defect. But endogen should always be applied in the treatment of infrabony defect in order to obtain periodontal regeneration because endogen will promote the differentiation of the cell of the blood clot in connective tissue attachment, cementum, and new bone. In my opinion, the most important innovation in the last decade is related to soft tissue management because the problem of the bone regeneration in periodontal regeneration, thanks to the presence of endogen, is solved. Now we have to solve the problem of the soft tissue and we have to increase thickness and we have to improve root coverage. So my focus now is related to soft tissue augmentation and new technologies that can provide soft tissue augmentation. So collagen matrix that are alternatives to the connective tissue graph are my focus now and I think they represent uh, the new frontiers of the regeneration. I'm developing new research protocol on the treatment of gingival recession with the adjunctive use of collagen matrix. I'm using mucoderm in association with the coronary advanced flap in the treatment of isolated and multiple gingival recession. And I already have some uh, early results that are very promising in terms of root coverage, but especially in terms of increase in soft tissue thickness. And this is crucial from my point of view because increasing soft tissue thickness, you will avoid the recurrence of gingival recession with time.